Bobo, Bobo, welcome in. I'm honestly really fucking tired today. Oops! Freaking. <laughs> Hello. So, piece I do, bruh, is so funny to me. It's just like, come on, dude. <laughs> Leading cause of deforestation, and I'm proud of that. Hi, hacker. Guys, hackers almost been following for a year. They followed April 18th last year. Six days, and it'll be a year, man. Can we get some yo's? Okay, Rainy does not count. We were friends. That does not count. <laughs> yeah, Rainy's been following since October 18th. A whole... Six months before, but that doesn't count. Hi, Rainy. Counts to a winner. I guess. My first ever follower wasn't Cutely. I think Cutely was my second. But my first ever follower was someone named Yana. And I was browsing through the Discover tab in our streams and I chatted and then we followed each other. <laughs> Sag. Hi, <laughs> Keelan. <laughs> Why are you sagging? Just because people are new doesn't mean I don't like them any less, right? Mate, no, I- Twitch staff, Rainy's joking. I would never follow for follow. Honestly, I think that's why. Oh, okay, even if I don't get, like, a lot of engagements, like, likes or replies on my tweets or TikToks, I feel like that's why I have really decent ratios. Like, it's not like I have- 10,000 followers on Twitter and get no likes. <laughs> it's kind of like how you see the celebs who are obviously like bot follow and then they get like 10 likes. <laughs> it's like I, I, bla I ban any like graphics account, any like artists who follow me. This is just like I don't want to look clouded and they get no engagement. That's so cringe. You know what else is cringe? I'm so bold stream, everybody. You guys can't clip. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we'll wait one more minute. I'm also listening to my own music today, and it's a lot of Korean soft pop, and it's really nice. What's the. There's one single that I really like. It's called When I Tell You Goodbye by. Hin, H Y N N. It's a lovely song. I'm a big fan of the female Korean vocals. Holy moly, moly, <laughs> holy moly! Thirty seconds, dude. I can't. I can't. Hello. Good afternoon. Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, Saboli Strain. I am very tired. I I woke up at four and then I couldn't go to sleep. So I've been up since four. <laughs> but hello, we had Rainy, Keelan, Acker, and Kobobo in the just starting soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. Um today, since I am very tired. I'll do a sub only for like three hours and then 
Because the kiddos wanted like a hot meal today, so I'm making them burgers, so. And they like eating at like 4 p.m., like 4 or 5 p.m. for dinner, so I wouldn't have been able to do an evening stream anyway. Excuses are for losers. I learned that in Survivor in like 2010. But you know what? It's okay. Um, so I think we'll start a Space for the Unbound either tomorrow or Friday. Because what I didn't realize for this week of my homework, I have a big assignment due Sunday and then like a mid-sized assignment due tomorrow. So I have to get that done today too. Um, yeah, sub only. Cool jacket. Thank you, Ryan. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I wake up. Yeah, I haven't worn this in forever because it's like a bit too small. Also, I'm really short, but this jacket is like too short on me. Like it, it barely reaches my waistline, so I can't wear this out. What if I made it into like a crop sweater? I would wear because I like the look of crop tops and like the crop sweaters, but I don't think I could ever pull it off because I I got too much of a tummy. <laughs> Oh my god, I Kim. I remember, like, it was during summertime. This was when I was dating the previous partner. And we were at the mall. And there was this one girl, plus size like me, who was wearing a crop top. And he was like, you would look great if you wore that. And I'm like, mm-mm. <laughs> I was concerned by the suspicious stew Minecraft Pringles. You always talk about the weirdest shit, man. Okay, let's play the game, everybody. I want you to stay here even though you don't want me. Sorry, my favorite song. <laughs> I hate these headsets sometimes because I have these at literally the lowest volume setting on my phone. But it sounds like it's at full blast. Oh my god. Another reason why I think the main reason why I'm very tired today is because I had to go to the post office yesterday to like mail out my first package, first painting in the mail. Um, and I tried to do the self service kiosk, and that's the whole reason why I went to the specific fucking post office because not all the post office have the little kiosk. And okay, what am I doing? It's Tuesday, I should go to the Mart. Um, so that's the specific reason why I went to this post office. But my box was too big, so I couldn't use the goddamn kiosk. And I waited like 15 minutes to use the self-service kiosk because since Monday was a holiday, there were so many freaking people at the post office. Um, so even the line for the self-service kiosk was long. So as I'm trying to use the kiosk... Um, wait, I misspoke. Yeah, you're right, hacker. Well, well yesterday, in my head, was Monday. Whatever. Anyway, anyway. So I'm trying to use the kiosk and it's- Oh, we can't process your package because it's too big. Please check out at the counter. So I'm like, Fuck. I've waited like tw I've wasted like 20 minutes at this point. And I can't even use this stupid kiosk. So I wait in line. And I mail the package. So at that point, I've been at the post office for like an hour. Because there was like nearly like 20 people waiting in line. And it's all like old people, because the only people who mail shit is like old people ma mailing like trinket boxes to their grandkids who don't give a shit, right? But honestly, they're really sweet. I saw this one lady, she paid like $50 for overnight shipping. And it's like, bro, I would never. That's like, that's lower than paying for like international shipping to some places. It's crazy. Oh, anyway. So. Oh, okay, so on the way to get to the post office, because the bus to get there takes a while. Um, whose birthday? My birthday is in two weeks, everybody. Um, what's I saying? Um... Oh yeah, so on the bus to get to the station, because I left home at like three, and I did not realize that's when all the little kids get out of school, right? I, I was clueless. So, I was on the bus, and usually whenever I do errands, I try to go, like, midday or morning, because there's less people. Makes sense, right? So, I'm on the bus, we pass, we get near a school, like a middle school. And at the- this is like the city bus, okay? This is not a school bus, this is a city bus. So, at 
the bus stop in front of the school. No, I'm not even kidding. I'm not kidding. There was like 30 kids waiting at the stop and I was like, what the fuck? So, I don't know because this is just a, it's a city bus, okay? It's not a subway. It's a freaking city bus. And all 30 of those little shits come onto the bus. And I don't know what the max capacity is for buses, but it was like packed. It was like kids were sitting on each other's laps. It was full. And these kids, oh, cutscene. And these kids were so goddamn loud. And they were like teenagers. And there were a lot of like uh, POC kids. So they were like flinging around the N word and shit. I'm like, oh no. And they were, okay. I'm not gonna repeat what this kid said, but obviously they were like a group of friends, but there was like all these like black kids and they had like one white friend in the group and like they were like bantering and talking shit <laughs> and the white kid said if you plural for okay i'll spell it they said n-e-g-r-o-e-s if all you spell that word keep messing around i'm gonna beat your ass and it's like whoa dude it's like holy moly <laughs> And like the bus driver can't do shit because the bus is like crammed full of children. Yeah, the white kid said that shit. I was like, oh my god. I was like, oh no. <laughs> I know what the fuck. <laughs> Obviously, these are kids, so I was like, and like, okay. Whenever I go in public, I have like my favorite coat. It has like a rainbow band on it. The way people know I'm fucking queer, okay? But it's very subtle. It's not too, like, out there. But, oh my god, I look like such a lib whenever I go out, cause like, I have this one reusable bag that's like perfect, it has really nice straps, it's really big, but it, it's from TJ Maxx, it's from my mom, and it's like the most lib-ass illustrations, it's like, girl power, like, feminism, it's, it's so like, lib, right? <laughs> so me and my rainbow striped jacket, and my lib-ass shopping bag, I'm like, oh no, it's like, these kids gonna beat my ass? Are they gonna be, call me slurs? They didn't, but I was thinking that the whole time. But all these kids, these 30 kids that got on the bus... Granted, since there's more bus stops in that part of town, there's literally a bus stop on every other block or every other street. So these kids, they all got on the bus, and then like half of them got off the bus at the next stop, so literally two streets down. Bitch, I have to walk a mile and a half to school. You can't even walk two streets home? Like, <laughs> Anyway, so I was very overwhelmed in the bus, but that's fine, I lived. Yeah. Story time over. Kids are gross and stupid. I would too, I don't blame them. Bro, two streets? That's nothing. I used to work a mile after school. Back in my day. When I first read your message, Kim, I thought you meant, like, I would beat your ass too because I made the joke about them calling me slurs. <laughs> and I was like, uh-oh. Also, my camera crop is higher today because I, I moved my tripod up. <clears throat> Kids are terrifying. See, I haven't seen the youth in a long time because I stay home a lot. I did used to work at a daycare, but it was elementary kids. Like, I think middle school kids are actually the worst. I feel like they're a lot more snarky than high schoolers. Okay, we've been on this cutscene for too long. <clears throat> well, welcome to Bier's. How can I help you? A Joja? Ahem. <clears throat> Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Joja Mart. Good thing I'm in high school. <laughs> Saved. Well, any takers? Okay, when you see a business offering a 50% off coupon, you know they're struggling. They're just trying to hit their baseline profits. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. Can you blame them? Georgia Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. I feel bad, but then I don't. Because I hate local businesses. 
And I would never spend a hundred dollars on a local birthday cake. I mean, I am planning on it. I have to place my order once my Twitch payout goes through, so. Bye, Kim. Actually going to the gym today. We'll see you later. Okay, it's the 16th. Wait, I'm gonna look up how many days are in a Stardew Valley month. I'm not cheating. Days in... Oh shit, I pressed enter. <laughs> Days in Stardew Valley month. 28 days, okay. 28, 28. That means I have 12 days. Oh, I have exactly 12 days. I can't do any more cauliflowers. Okay, I'm gonna walk around and get all the salmon berries, because they give decent energy. Yeah, so I was out for like three hours when the trip should have taken like max two. And I got home, I was exhausted. Because <laughs> the thing that I've learned, I guess, navigating my newfound disability is I kind of have to plan out my weeks days in advance because doing like one task takes so much energy sometimes. So what I've learned is that I have to do like errands every other day. That way I can allow myself a day of rest. So I'm still getting used to it. You like the rainbow in the title? Yeah, Gage. Tab one if you Gage. Ooh, jackpot! I think the game audio is delayed. Really? And me. I hate desync issues. But thank you for telling me. I don't know how you guys notice. Well, I think Hacker's got that, like, zoomer brain. It's weird, because, like, it's it's synced in my OBS. So it's usually just an issue with Twitch uploading. Which is out of my control, but... I mean, like, I'd probably notice it if I, if I was, like, sitting down and watching, but for stream content, for the most part, I usually just, like... Listen, I don't like sit and watch as much anymore. Is it synced now? What is the next story game link? I posted it on Twitter. <laughs> it's, uh... What, uh... Wait. A space for the unbound, I think. Should I leak? <laughs> Screenshot! And <laughs> did anybody see it? Yes, I do have to sleep with a night light on. Very embarrassing. I mean, I, I posted the game, like, in the little caption for, um, my go left tweet, I guess, so it wasn't, like, explicit. Why does your Twitter not work? I feel like Twitter has been broken for so long. Like, ever since Elon took over, not not to be a hater, but I am. Twitter's been ass. 
like, sometimes my recommended feed sometimes doesn't load, or sometimes my following feed doesn't load properly. It's really frustrating. I mean, Twitter desktop isn't that bad, but I don't use it often. The only time I use Twitter desktop is if I'm trying to post, like, a video or a picture. That way I can get, like, a higher quality. And it uploads a little bit better. But otherwise, I don't really mess with it. <laughs> or, like, you ever see people in Twitter replies and then it says, This photo contains sensitive media. Do you want to see it? But it's not, like, the actual warning. It's just, like, a screenshot image of the warning. I think it's the... Funniest thing. Why are the crops unorganized? It doesn't matter! It literally does not matter. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I don't care about aesthetics. Unless I do. to sit up straight in order to see the lineup. Am I gonna play any new games for the birthday stream? Probably not. I think the only, like, new game that I haven't played would be Wii Party. But the issue is, I don't- I really hope I can play Wii Party single player, because we only have one remote that works. Because my parents... They only bought, like, the off-brand Wii remotes. And they only worked sometimes. And I tried hooking them up and then none of them work. Like, the only Wii remote that works is the one that came with the console. Which makes sense, but... I mean, not saying that I'm gonna be playing multiplayer games, ew. No leaks. But I hope we can get the Wii Party working. So you can do single player with computers? That's the ideal. I wonder if they're, like, speedrunning for, like, Super Mario Party. I know there's people who try and get, like, records in, like, the minigames, but is there, like, a way to speedrun it? What games am I gonna play? Um, a million subs and I'll leak the whole schedule. <laughs> no joke. Or how about, how about, if we get one Prime sub today, I'll leak. Either a million gifted or a single Prime sub. I think I've told the schedule before, actually. Y'all just forgot. I have bad memory. <laughs> uh, same, dude. See, I kind of get annoyed when chatters ask questions multiple times over the course of, like, multiple days or streams. But then I myself am like, oh, I forget shit all the time, too. I just don't vocalize it as much. I mean, you guys have already said, like, the most of the schedule. That's primarily gonna be games. Oh my god, it's 9pm. 
The, I think there's two things you guys don't have listed. I'm gonna die when I get back to camp. There's gonna be monsters. We dip and we dodge? Fall Guys? No. <laughs> I will not be playing Fall Guys. Dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? Is he expecting me to buy that much? Jeez, I can make my own at home. Minecraft and Fortnite are the other two guys. Don't give them ideas. We're never playing Fortnite ever again. Yes, I don't have the water. Let's go. I feel like Fall Guys is only good if like you're good at the game. Because it can get very like tedious playing. Especially not getting to like um, not getting to even, like, the second to last round. It's very, like... Ah. Oh, I should go fishing today. <laughs> At random points of the day, my brain keeps singing peaches. Okay, do you guys know any of the words besides peaches? I literally don't know any of the, of the other lyrics. There's barely any Fortnite players. Or not Fortnite, obviously not. There's a new uh, custom builds. Maybe I'll play Fall Guys. When I get that itch, I'll play it for stream. Oh, I saved it. I wonder what would be the lore for, like, a Mario Party, like, story mode. What would be the blood? <clears throat> I like to think it'd be everybody just has a gambling addiction. And then they must play a game to... Not gamble, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> They had a story mode in the DS one? Ain't no way. I think the first Mario Party game I played was on the GameCube at my friend's house. I don't know which mm -hmm. Mario Party it was. I feel like every game should have a story mode. Because I don't like games where they don't give you enough direction. That's why I don't necessarily like open world games as much, because I need very structured storylines in order to like feel invested in a game. 
That's why, like, with games like this, like Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing, there's some direction, but once you hit a certain point in, like, base and world building, it's kind of like, how else can you expand? Oh, fisherman! Do you like the rain in-game? I think it's nice. It sounds nice. In person, I don't mind the rain as much, and I think it's because, like, you know, true Washingtonians never use an umbrella. If you use an umbrella when it rains, you're a bitch. You just have to get a nice raincoat. And I don't like umbrellas because they're too big. Because I, I walk a lot, I use public transit, so it's like, it takes up too much space on the sidewalk. What about your socks? That's why you get waterproof shoes, my guy! Hashtag not sponsored, but I have Vessi and I've been wearing them for like three years. Not the same pair, I get a new pair every year. But they're waterproof shoes, and they're really comfortable. They're memory foam. $60, but... I have never gotten, like, a wet sock. Waterproof shoes exist? Yeah. Wait, can I pause? I can't pause! I mean, that's the normal shoe prize. I guess. Are they cute? Here, I'll type the name and shit. Hashtag not sponsored. But look it up, Vessi. I initially found out of the brand. It's a Washington-based company, actually. Um, But a YouTuber promoted it, and I checked it out, and it was, like, actually really good. I personally use the slip-on shoes, because I don't like shoes with laces. I like a clean look. What if for the Prime Movie Night we watch Nope? I've been wanting to watch Nope again. Ooh, watching Nope at night would be scary, though. Oh, I made the mistake of watching Us in, like, the evening. It was dark. Ooh. I didn't have nightmares that night, but I was scared. Have you guys heard the new Sit It Off single? It's called... What's it called? I forgot what it's called. It's playing right now on my ears. Punching bag. I think. Is that what it's called? Yeah, punching bag. I love Sit It Off. It's like pop punk, but I think their new album that is coming out- Hopefully this year! Or no. Because they just released an album last year. Wow. Because they did, like, alternative and then rock, and then they kind of phased into, like, pop, punk. And now I think they're gonna go back to, like, rock. You gotta listen to their new single. It's really good. God! Fuck! I've been cursing a lot, sorry. YouTube, I'm sorry. You've only seen, like, one horror movie? I don't like horror as much. I definitely like thriller. Because to me, horror is more showy, more flashy, and typically more gory. But thrillers are more based on, like, ambiance and anticipation. You're a sick, persistent virus under my skin. It's the best line. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta focus. Oh my god. I'm, I'm supposed to get better fish when it rains, right? Oh, I think it's because I have a shitty fishing rod. Oh, I, sh I was supposed to save for the nicer one.
Finally. Making up for the fishing journey. Oopsie. Oh, I can sign. Okay, I really need to get a better fishing rod. 1800? Shit. Well, he won't buy my seaweed either. Okay, remind me I need to save 1800. Thank you for the lurk hacker. Wait, did you guys see the announcement for the Nintendo Live event in Seattle? Not saying I'm gonna go, but what would they even have there? Like, I assume, like, tournaments, little kiosks to sell merch. But they have, like, an artist alley, because you know Nintendo doesn't like when people make money off their IP. I'd only go if my sister wants to go. You can get the leaks? <gasps> my uncle does work at Nintendo, guys. I already know everything. Oh, shit, I thought I heard it. On, perfecto. Oh, let's go. It probably so weird that my head is cropped. <laughs> it's actually I feel like the only new game is Zelda. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like a lot of developers are making a lot of indie releases for the Switch. Like, a while ago, I was browsing the indie tab on the Nintendo website, and there's been a lot of releases in the past two years. I mean, a lot of them don't look good, but it seems like a lot of people are pushing towards that direction. And it seems like it's been a while since we've had, like, original new IP from Nintendo. Perfecto! But I think people don't know what type of game they want until it's released. Like, I don't know what would be my perfect game. Because I feel like different types of games you need for different parts of your life. Like, if you're the type of person who wants to spend more time doing something, like, if you don't... <laughs> How do I say it? If you don't, like, have hobbies. And gaming is your main hobby. You need games that'll pass a little time. That's why people like MMOs. People like life sim games like this. But if you're looking for, like, gratification, that's why I feel like a lot of people gravitate towards, like, FPS game. Those are very... It's very... You can get very good at them very quickly, in my opinion. Due to, like, the level of focus and engagement you need to play them good. But, I don't know what type of game I want. Because I have a lot of time. But I like things that don't require a lot of skill. Because my fingers don't work sometimes. I think if there was another game, like... I genuinely really liked Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Even if I wasn't the best at it. I really enjoyed it. Like, I've been debating if I want to play it again in offline. Oh, come on, a flimsy stick. I might play the new Pikmin. I never played it when I was younger, so I don't know what to expect, really. But for me, to enjoy a game, it has to, like, look nice. I'm very biased in that front. Because to me, in order for a game, a game that looks visually appealing, to me that shows that the designers and artists put a lot of time and effort into the actual creative process. And that's what I appreciate a lot. 
That's why, like, even if I go to the movies and see some, like, shitty kids animated film, I can still appreciate the work that the artist put into it. I think my favorite, like, part of the Kirby Forgotten Land was the cooking minigame. Like, not gonna lie, that was kind of fun. You have a favorite game? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think my favorite game to play, like mechanic wise, because, like, I'm thinking recently, because I didn't really play games when I was younger. Oh, 2K only! I could buy a new fishing rod. 1500. I gotta save 1500. Um, I think Kirby was pretty fun. That was my first ever Kirby game. But my best, my favorite store game is still Easter. I really enjoyed it a lot. Because, like, the gameplay was simple enough. The combat wasn't too hard, but it was definitely about environment and world building. And even if I didn't grow up playing, like, pixel games, the visuals, I think it's very cool how. Artists can do a lot with seemingly so little. I like that appeal a lot. You never played Kirby 64? Yeah, I didn't have the console. My first ever games I played were on the Wii, so I don't have like I'm not a boomer. I don't have that nostalgia. Okay, it's Kirby 64 on the Switch. Is that part of like the premium membership program to where you can get like the older games emulated? You never finished the game? <laughs> it doesn't seem like the story of Kirby is like too impactful. It's more like, you know, get through the worlds, I guess. It's not like there's some overarching theme. I really love games that have... Okay, I do think that super explicit themes in games is kind of cringe, but then I feel like people will learn something, you know what I mean? Hi. Me sell hats. Okay, poke. Come to the old house, poke. Bring coins. Hat mouse. I don't like buying accessories for- or skins in game. I think it's kind of DOM. Wait, no, 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 no. I think my favorite game is Odyssey. I really like Mario Odyssey, now that I think about it. Because I think the movement- I think Odyssey had a- a good amount of exploration, like it- Ooh, lost book. library's collection has expanded. Hug you. Like, Odyssey felt nice to move around in. Like, you could choose to get as many stars as you want. You could choose to get through the story quickly if you wanted to. Granted, I took my time and I played it on stream. <laughs> but... I think, yeah, I liked Odyssey more than Kirby. I totally forgot about Odyssey. I haven't played it in so long. I remember watching my sister beat the final world, like, together, because that was when I was in high school. I think senior year was when it came out for me. So she never let me use the Switch until she was done using it, right, because it was just hers. So I didn't get to play Odyssey until she was done with it. What was the first game I ever streamed? I think it was Mario Kart. <laughs> And, and, and I'm still playing Mario Kart now, huh? 
That's crazy. Sis my sister lets use the OLED for the birthday stream. That'd be epic, but the the issue with if I were to use the OLED for stream is I'd have to transfer everything from the because you can only have your Nintendo account on one console. So it wouldn't work if she would just let me use it for a day because then I'd have to transfer over my Nintendo account to the OLED. But then if she won't let me use it forever, then I have to transfer everything back, which is kind of dumb. So that's why I'm not like pressing her anymore because she literally, she literally hasn't used it in two months. Because she only... Okay, she wanted her own console. It's her money. I don't give a shit. But the main reason why she wanted her own OLED was so she could play the Bayonetta game until she beat it without having to switch off the Switch when I had to use it for stream. And ever since she beat the Bayonetta game, she literally hasn't touched her Switch. Her OLED. She literally hasn't touched it. So dumb. And now, because I asked her like a month ago, I was like, can I use the OLED for stream? I was like, because you haven't used it in a month. She's like, no, well, the new Zelda game comes out in May, so actually you can't use it because I'm going to want to use it during May. And I was like... That's like two months in which I could use it. And she was like, no. Like, okay. Okay, I gotta save 1500. Okay. Oh, wait, how much does the backpack? 10,000, never mind. Okay, no spoilers, but if I use the Jojo Mart membership, does Pierre's shop close? I think that's what happens. But I know Jojo Mart charges more. So am I just like screwing myself right now? Oh my god, I'm so DOM. It's 1800. God damn it. Okay, I was gonna fish anyway, so it doesn't matter. Am I gonna get married in game? No, I'm an inzo. I want my game to emulate real life. <laughs> and honestly, I just wanna focus on like base building this time. Because in my previous playthroughs, both on stream- uh oh And offline. I was focusing too much on romantic. Why is everything breaking today? <laughs> uh oh Uh oh. Oh no. It's actually not reconnecting. Dude, this capture card is supposed to be good. This was the good one, the non glitchy one. It's back. Thank you for your patience, everybody. I don't know why. I think it's partially because, like, maybe it overheats. Because I noticed if I keep my my capture card, like, on the carpet, it over it crashes more. So it could be just overheating, but it's not on the carpet. It's fine. Was the boat a stream without technical difficulties? True. True. I wonder how much money, like, actual farmers make. Like, is it worth it? Because it says I've made, like, 11,000 so far. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what if I did a Cult of the Lamb stream where I tried to beat the final boss at the hardest difficulty? That'd be agonizing. But I think that'd be funny. And then I put like a speedrun timer. <laughs> oh my god, because my, my offline save, I have mm -hmm. two more bosses in Cradle's or Silk's Cradle to beat. So would you guys watch if I did a extreme difficulty final boss run? The only real difference between the difficulties from what I've seen in Cold of the Lamb is the amount of health the enemies have. Yeah. We'll ask the main crew whenever we do a main channel stream. I feel like it'd be another six hours. <laughs> I mean, honestly, probably. But look, imagine how crazy the title would be. Stream ends when I beat the one who waits hardest difficulty. Imagine how many clicks. That that'd be an agonizing stream, though, honestly. I'd probably lose my mind. Oh, damn it, I almost had it. Wait, we should do that- We should do that for the subathon. <laughs> In August? We should do that for the subathon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> was the Amori stream longer than a subathon? Yeah, because I think my subathon was like seven and a half hours. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, will we do the subathon in August? Cause for the birthday it'll just be normal stream, but it'll be capped at it'll be a twelve hour stream just for the heck of it. But for the subathon I'll cap it at twelve hours. Cause I, I don't want to do a sleeping segment. And I don't have a moderation team to like allow for adequate automation if I do go to sleep. And since I don't have a lot of foreign viewers, I don't expect somebody to stay up literally all night to mod the chat. I feel like that'd be kind of mean. Or not mean, but like unfair. He said somebody passes out on stream. I think that'd be TOS. That's, it. That's why I don't stream on days where I'm genuinely tired. Like, um, this day, or today, I almost slipped in the bathtub. Like, as I was getting out, I almost fell. So I was like, oh, let's be careful today. So it's like... That's what, usually on days when I don't stream, it's when I'm, like, genuinely really tired. I gotta sell my fish. Hey, yo, 1800. We got the fiberglass rod. And like, I don't not stream when I'm tired just to avoid TTS. It's just, or not, to avoid TOS. It's just like, not, genuinely not fun. <laughs> Do you think you'd ever accidentally fall asleep on stream? Probably not. I mean, it would have to depend on what I'm doing. But no, I don't think I'd ever fall asleep. <laughs> I think the only circumstance in which it could happen is if, like... Okay, I can't fall asleep sitting up anymore. Like, I can't fall asleep on airplanes or buses. Like, I have to be laying down. So the only circumstance I, in which I would fall asleep is if I'm watching a video on my phone, on my bed, for a sleeping stream. But I'm never doing a sleeping stream, so... It won't happen. Ooh, perfecto! I mean, there's been times where I've gotten drowsy just from, like, being tired, but I've never- I don't think I've ever, like, gotten close to falling asleep. I, <laughs> that'd be crazy. <laughs> if I was at that point, I would not be alive. I would just be like, guys, I'm done. Oh, 
Okay, the only time I think in which I would, like, be really bored of stream is if I had no chatters. Like, it was very difficult. It, it's very difficult for any small streamer who has, like, no viewers or one viewer and not have a chat. But that's how it is for most people. Like, I streamed to zero viewers for six months. And I still kept going. Shit, I missed it. But if you don't have a chat, it's very, like, it's lonely. <laughs> And I'm not saying that to like bait people to chatting or just being transparent. That's how a lot of small streamers feel. Um, that's why like I appreciate um, anybody who does watch and you do chat, even if it's just to say hi. I appreciate it because when you go from nothing to having something, it's very hard to like look back on that time. And I don't know how you did that exactly. Like, how did I not go crazy? <laughs> Because <laughs> you're literally just talking to yourself or you're not talking, you know, because you don't have a chat. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, just give me a fucking fish! And I think it's because, like, if you don't have an established audience, it's very difficult for a new viewer to want to chat. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what I would have done differently, because there's not much you can really do. Because people only really go down to the zero viewers in the discovery tab but they want to like have a one-on-one -on -one conversation or they want to like troll. So it's very... It's disheartening but it's expected to not have a chat when you're just starting. I'd be so sad not getting a whole message every or a single... I'd be so sad not getting a single message during the whole stream. I mean, it do be like that. It do be like that. I'm missing these fish. I mean, like, I wasn't sad because I wasn't doing things to get people into the stream. Because I feel like my titles were pretty good. So I had, like, a good amount of unique viewers. I just didn't have chatters or follows. Because when you have a new viewer come in, you have to grab their attention very quickly. Like, if you have a new viewer, they usually decide within less than a minute if they're going to chat or follow. So, you have to make sure that every moment you're talking, you're engaging, you're doing something entertaining. And it's very hard to do that if you don't have a chat. <laughs> That's why, like, a lot of small streamers... Hmm either quit or they don't know how to commentate well if they have a chat room from the start. Because the main way I build my audience now is through cross posting. So like posting clips to like YouTube or TikTok. That's where I primarily get my new followers into stream. Ooh, lots of flowers. All you need to do if you're a small streamer, is get one person chatting. That's your goal. So if you're just starting out or if you want to stream, all you need is one person. It doesn't matter if you have five viewers and one chatting, if you have 20 viewers and one chatting, as long as you have one. Oh, shit, I didn't plant my things. Uh oh. Did you still talk when you had zero viewers? I try to, but it's very hard to maintain a conversation with yourself. Like today. Shoutouts go bobo, you've been chatting the whole time. Shoutouts, and you've been asking a lot of questions, keeping me engaged. But it's very hard to maintain a conversation with yourself if you don't have like pre-written talking points. Um a thought out content plan of what you're gonna do for the day. Because the time in which I saw more, oh shit, how would I say it, more success in terms of unique viewers is when I had like the challenge streams in Mario Kart. So even if I couldn't talk the whole time, the whole premise of the stream was substantial enough. Because when I was initially planning out stream, before I went live for the first time, I was planning on singing covers live. But you technically can't really do that. I mean, you can, but... 
you're at risk of getting copywritten. And there's been a few times, even when I upload my clips or bots to YouTube, my vocals get demonetized or flagged for copyright because my vocals sound similar enough or the cadence in which I sing it is too similar to the original song. That's why sometimes when I sing songs, I'll sing it at like a slower pace. Uh-oh. I passed out of like one, right? I have time, I have time. I don't you do the challenges still? I ran out of ideas. <laughs> and... Yeah, I ran out of ideas. And challenge content is not good for reposting clips. It's only really good if you're gonna do like a YouTube highlight. Because <laughs> there's been so many times where I'll post a clip and it's from a challenge run and people would be like, why aren't you using your items, dumbass? And then I have to be like, it's from a challenge run, smile. You thought I'd make good clips? It makes good YouTube highlights. For like a long, like 15 to 20 minute highlight video, but not for like a one-off clip where people don't have context. Because my format for posting clips is um, story times, right? So it's kind of hard to integrate the challenge into like a normal story time clip. Also, get fucked, non-subs. You guys did a good transition. Haha. <laughs> you just could just boom. Get, a, get an ad. I can't talk. You guys just got boomed. Get an ad. Do preserved jars go crazy? That's how I make the most money. Anyway, because my original plan with stream was like, I'm just going to play Animal Crossing and sing the whole time. That's going to be my gimmick. But then I was like, well, technically we can't really do covers. So I was like, shit, I can't do that. That's why like, if I sing a song, it's only for like three minutes instead of like the whole stream. That way it's kind of hidden. Farmer Peason, I have a request for you. I need fresh cauliflower for a recipe I want to make. Could you bring me one? I'm Jody. No. Even though I have two, I need money. Wait, how do I make the sprinklers? Oh, iron and copper. Oh, I haven't been mining. <laughs> Oopsie. I need to get to mining. Or I guess I can focus on that once I get enough money for Jojo Mart, I feel like. Probably get some trees purchased as well. I was thinking about this the other night, but I feel like a lot of my stream structure is so similar to his son's. Like, even the way I start stream when I'm like. Good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone is doing well today. Because Hassan says that, but then he's like, oh, it's nice and sunny here in LA. And then I do the ad break transitions. I think it's because, like, I know Hassan is a very controversial figure, but I think ultimately, a lot of what he promotes is good. I do agree with the sentiment that he can be snarky and kind of, um, not as sensitive towards issues and how he covers them at times, but I feel like his commentary style is very easy for people who don't necessarily know or adhere to leftist ideas 
And he can tell them in a way that can kind of resonate with, like, central reserve and right-leaning people. Uh, and I think that's really powerful. Yeah, I agree, Rainy. Uh, Rainy is critical with him at times, and I can agree, but I feel like he does promote more good than bad. Say, oh, I need to buy trees. I literally said, I'm gonna buy a tree. Oh, this one bears fruit in the spring. Damn it, I wanted to buy like a, a fall tree. Well, I guess I won't buy a tree. Well-known political streamer on the platform, dude. <laughs> Idea meal. <laughs> it's a sad political. <laughs> oh. He also won just chatting streamer of the year. Is he red or blue? Okay. <laughs> You're trolling. Dude, why would I have a Republican streamer as my idol? Oh my god, imagine. I'm actually a fake socialist. <laughs> no, anyway, what I was saying. I think because his content is genuinely such a comfort for me. He was one of the first few streamers I watched. Like, he's literally my second followed channel on Twitch. And, like, his content is designed to where you can just have it on the background all day. Bang a rare seed. Oh, I gotta see how to make the kegs. Okay, wood stone coal. Wood stone coal. <laughs> true, Rainy. True, Rainy. Maybe you like fighting him in the chat? No, I would never. The most that I type in his chat is Haas L and Keck W. Okay, the reason why... He, I don't remember when he said this on stream, but he said he loves looking at his chat and seeing Keck W. That's literally all I chat whenever he says a funny joke. I'm just like, Keck W. I think it's because, like, I can be um, an antagonist if I want to, but I feel like in order to be good at arguing a point you the other person has to be receptive and willing to listen to it and your argument has to have standing debate no i'm never going to do a debate stream because debate content is a very scary pit hole, pill to fall into. Because the whole gimmick of debates is who wins, right? It's not about the actual substance of the argument for the most part. People only really remember like, ooh, the sick burns you made. Prime example, the presidential debates. People were like rooting for Trump because he had like the best comments, right? But not necessarily the best moral arguments. It's 1.30. I'll fish for the rest of the day and then I'll go shopping tomorrow. 
Facts don't matter if you hit him with your mom joke. I know, right? That's how it works. I'm in class. Get back to work. The high titans. Can we get some EOs? I think it's so funny when chatters say, I'm watching at school, I have you on my phone under the desk. It's like, is it really worth getting your phone taken away? Like, honestly. I never did that shit. Because I think when I was in school, I was on the cusp of when they were like allowing mm -hmm. headphones and phones in class. But I was so scared of getting my phone taken away because I know my parents would be very mad. I just never risked it. Is that why Chris got grounded? No, I think it was for something else. Dream is more important than school? I didn't say it, chat did. honest, building an online career is probably more impactful and more likely to make revenue than a college mm -hmm. degree at this point, right? I think if you go to your phone settings, you can enable closed captions. I would enable it through stream, but mm -hmm. I'm in indifferent about it. I really like when social media, like TikTok, how they recently have, like, you can turn on captions or YouTube has automatic captions that you can enable or disable. Because I, I don't think I'd ever put captions on screen, like, as part of the VOD. Shit, I missed it. Because I know for me as a viewer, captions do it. I understand the utility of it, but for me, they're very distracting. So if I were watching a VOD that had captions, I would just be looking at the captions the whole time. So I like when you can toggle them on and off. I'll have to look at which Twitch extensions are toggleable. Because the extensions that I've seen, I can toggle them on, but viewers can't sometimes. What I do find even more annoying is that on TikTok's upload feature, you have to enable the settings to allow automatic captions. It's so that way the consumer, the viewer can toggle them on or off. But if you, the creator, upload a video that doesn't have that setting toggled, then there's no way for them to get any captions, mm -hmm. even through the app. I don't get why that's not an auto function. It's so dumb. Someone at the gym is watching on their iPad. Is it you? Are you watching the stream on your little iPad? <laughs> oh my god, there was another guy on the bus. And I can't be too mean. Because I'm I'm a nosy bitch. If somebody's talking loud enough on the bus, I listen in. So this guy, he was talking about how like his girlfriend broke up with him and how she was like leading him on still. And then he was saying, like, yeah, all my friends are making fun of me because I said this. But he was like, yeah, I'm autistic, so I kind of don't understand why they make fun of me. And I was like, oh, no. I was like, I can't be mean to this guy anymore in my head. Because he was being so annoying. Like, he was talking way too loud. He was, like, talking to everybody on the fucking bus. And I was like, oh, okay, he just has... He lacks social skills. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Big ass iPad. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's an iPad adult. But once he said that, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, I figured, but. <laughs> oh my god. Chatters, my sister's autistic, and I think I am as well, but not as. 
That is... What, what's a nice way of saying it? Like, that is... Severe? Is that a nice word? Because, like, I talked to my sister and she's like, Yeah, you show signs and... She's like, it doesn't seem like it impairs your ability to communicate because you seem fine. I'm like, yeah. I was thinking about it this morning. Like, I can be, like, super charismatic and charming. <laughs> and, like, super, like, perceived, like, sociable if I want to. But I don't like doing that anymore. Because, like, I've kind of learned what's the right way to react, what's the right thing to say. And based on, like, how other people react to what you say, how to respond. So I feel like a lot of my social engagements is learned. Which, I don't think is bad, because it's not like I act crazy or mean. Here, we're waiting. There we go. It took forever. Ooh, perfecto. Anyway. So I, I feel like I know what to say, but then at times I feel like... I didn't inherently know to respond or act that way. It's interesting because my sister, she was diagnosed when she was like four. It's be she didn't talk until she was four, that's why that's why she got a uh, screening done when she was super young. But she was never like forced to mask or forced to like, quote unquote, act normal. So, it's kind of crazy, like, seeing how she's lived her life. When, I know it's not good to diagnose yourself. It's very bad. I don't market myself as an undiagnosed person. Besides my actual disability. Smile. But, I definitely show signs. And I don't know if it's, like, how beneficial would it be to get a diagnosis at this point? Like, I think it would just be for, like... Mm -hmm. Perceived like knowledge or closure mm -hmm. Because just in general, there's not a lot of social resources for autistic people Because a lot of the times if you want to receive any type of compensation or help for the government you have to prove that you're Your social skills are lacking enough to where you can't work in a normal workplace in the sense of, like, you need a lot of help or a designated workplace that is designed to help people who lack those skills. Because, like, I think I could handle a job. It's just, like... Okay, the thing that annoyed me the most working in service was people not doing their fucking job. Because I'm the type of person to... I'm very particular. Um... It was very prevalent when I became management that, like, not that I was super aggro, but I was very particular about how we, how things were done, because the way I see it, if things are done proficiently and adequately, then it allows for more productivity and more work to be done quicker and faster. So it would genuinely make me, not mad, but very frustrated when people didn't follow my recommendations or ways of like closing or opening up shop. Because if you do things that make it a little bit harder for you but easier for the next person, why not do it? Please just do it. So like I knew how to like talk to people, I knew how to like communicate. But it was just so frustrating when people weren't receptive to that communication. How do you even prove that? Um, my sister had to go through a series of, like, online tests, like a personality mm -hmm. test. They also had her, like, answer some questions, like an interview type thing, just to see how she'd respond. I'd have to ask her again, because she did that, like, two years ago.
Page 820. Goddamn crows. Yeah, since I have ample crops, I'm gonna go mining today. I'm gonna play Minecraft. I think that what was most beneficial for my sister getting an early diagnosis is she had a lot of help from her teachers. Like, she was given like a very specific education plan. All of her teachers in middle school and high school had to give her like specialized instruction. She was able to get like PDFs of the notes that were given in class because she couldn't follow on along or process as quickly as other people could. So she had a lot of help because she had that early diagnosis when in comparison kids who don't have those diagnoses for like ADD, ADHD earlier on it's very hard to justify getting those accommodations from your school district or your teachers so I think as an adult it's not necessarily helpful like it's only really going to help you if yeah there you go honey it's only really helpful if you believe it's hindering your ability to perform in your workplace or your college. But otherwise, it's kind of like... There's not much resources they can give you as an adult. B's. Damn it. Oh, it's a dagger. I forgot. <laughs> and not me missing every swing. More creators don't utilize subscriber only streams. I think the only bad thing is your viewers might not like it, but why not give your viewers extra perks? And what is nice analytic wise is your subscriber only streams do count towards your total hours for the month, but they do not count for your average viewership. So if you're pushing for like partner, it doesn't affect your partner average. But I think if you have an established audience where you have, let's say maybe a guaranteed 100 paying subscribers every month, why not do it? Because, like, if my favorite creator did subscriber-only stream semi-regularly, I'd, I'd want to subscribe. Because right now, I have a Twitch Turbo subscription. That means I have no ads across the whole platform. And I only subscribe to Hassan. Because <laughs> I just watch him all the time. And, you know, I want to have the clout. To be like, oh, I'm a... I'm a 16-month sub. 
No, I think I'm an 18 month because I just got my 18 month badge. Like, me as a viewer, I had no idea that subscriber only streams were a thing until I started streaming myself. I feel like if Twitch promoted that m merit more, then I think it would garner sh more subscribers. Like, they, if, if they encouraged partnered streamers to do more sub only streams, I think that would gain more subscriber revenue for both the creator and Twitch over time. Oh! Oh no, I hate the bees! Or they're not bees, they're like moths, but I hate them. Yeah, because I started watching Hassan in after the insurrection because I watched his coverage. I remember at work because it happened at like noon, I think, that day, right? And no, it, I think it was like 2 p.m. Eastern, but then it was like noon my time. And I was watching his coverage at work. And it was insane. And I remember because I usually don't watch. I didn't watch streams at work at the time, but it was super slow that day. And I remember... I was watching his coverage and I was showing my coworker. I was like, this is crazy. And I remember I used so much data on my bike ride home just to keep listening to the stream. I don't have an 18 month badge. I think I want to make it something different. Like a different type of flower or like a whole different item entirely. That way the 18 month subs stand out a lot to the one year, you know? Because I don't necessarily like when people have subscriber badges where it's the same item but different colors. It's very hard to differentiate who is who in chat. Because theoretically, yes, you should treat viewers all the same. But usually if somebody is there for that long and a paying member, they're probably going to be like a productive member of the community, right? Oh yeah, I think NMP has like 10 month in Soda Pop and they have like 10 year subscriber badges, I think. But since I started streaming in 2021 and then gained affiliate in January of 22, the, the most badges somebody can have right now is, is, is 14. And that would have been if they stayed subscribed the whole time I've been an affiliate. I think Issa, Doggo, and Emmy are pretty close to that. Because they both subscribed in February of 2022. <laughs> Yeah, because let's see. I have a 15 month subscriber badge. But that's because when you get affiliate. Oh shit! Oh no! You, you automatically get a badge for yourself. Oh, there we go! Easy! Yeah, I'll definitely upload 18 month badges once somebody is eligible. <laughs> like, I was browsing Etsy the other day because since I don't have like specific imagery for my branding, because I don't think that's necessarily as important. Because I think a lot of people when they first start streaming, they get so attached to the idea of having like specific imagery, like sub badges, emotes right away, or like overlays, but you just gotta focus on the actual substance of what you're making. Like having your imagery be about peaches or like cupcakes and not having any like, I guess, significance behind it besides aesthetics, then it doesn't, it feels fake, I guess. But, th but that's coming from a designer, you know what I mean? Like, I I've made so many presentations, like making logos or 
branding ideas. That every little decision you make has to have meaning. Okay, right now I'm just trying to get ingredients. Or, not ingredients. I'm just trying to get elements. <laughs> so I have the elevator up ahead because it's level 15. Has Hacker gotten a one year? I think they're kind of close. Okay, it's seven. Once I clear this room, I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, I can't wait for summer either, because I'm going to be graduated by then. Oh, I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm out. hate those levels. Like, I'm going to have so much more time to do things and, like, less stress. Because I'm graduating at the end of June. But I'm so close. I don't know how much, like, my degree will help, but, like... I have to call my- because we have a counselor, every student has a counselor, and then they also have like a- like a hiring, I guess, manager. Because they- they'll help you for a few months after you graduate to find a job, but it's like... I need to figure out... How having a disability... Affects the job searching, you know what I mean? So I don't know if my counselor has like... The tools to help me with that. I- I gotta get that shit figured out. <laughs> Okay, I think I can finally make a bar. Finally. Okay, I'm rearranging a little bit. There you go. I want to see if I can craft another furnace. 20 copper? Skin. Yeah, me not putting more time into the mines early on was a mistake. I'm gonna fish a little bit, that way I don't waste my energy. Mm -hmm. oh, no! <laughs> Why did I choose this farm? This is literally the stupidest farm. There's no benefits, it's just enemies. A mistake. Imagine I sold the copper bar. <laughs> oh my god, the cat on the bed. That's a literal dream. If I had a cat, I'd be so happy. Like, actually. But see, like, the issue is, like, 
I'd have to be the one that take care of a pet. Because not that... Not that the other roommates are lazy. But, okay, my sister's job is to clean the bathrooms. The other roommate's job is to empty the trash. Because it's heavy. I can barely lift it. But they both haven't done either for months. And then I just do it. Because I don't want a dirty bathroom. And I don't want a full trash. And they always feign incompetence. So. I mean, one of them doesn't wash their hands. <laughs> oh my god. True. So it's like I know if we had a pet, then I would have to I would have to take care of it, and there's no like finalization on the cat. But my roommate was like, "Well, what if they like agree to like a rabbit or a chinchilla instead of a cat? That way it's contained because they don't want they don't like the idea of an animal running around. But a rabbit." And Chinchilla, they need so much more care and attention than a cat does. So it requires so much more of your time. And since they're, like, doing shit all the time, there's usually someone home with me at all times, but, like, it's not often that everybody's home at the same time. So I would primarily be taking care of the animal. And there's gonna come a time where I'm not gonna be able to in terms of, like, I'm gonna be bedridden. That's gonna happen, ultimately. So it's like, I can't agree to having an animal if I can't physically take care of it. And I, I don't ever want to get an animal if it's gonna be experiencing neglect, you know? I want to avoid that at all costs. And a cat is pretty easy to take care of, they're pretty independent. Because there was a few times where my roommate pulled me aside. They're like, well, you know, they're not too sure about a cat, but they were like, maybe you can get a rabbit instead or a chinchilla. And I was like, no. Yeah. It's, it's because, like, I like the idea of giving an animal a home that doesn't have one. That's why, like, I would always, like, if I were on my own, I'd get, like, a shelter or a stray animal. Because that one for sure doesn't have a shelter, right? Or a permanent shelter, because there are kill shelters. But like a rabbit, chinchilla hamster, they're probably gonna get adopted at some point. So. Rabbits are so much work. Yes, they're so messy too. Like, we had one when I was little, it's so annoying. And they're not that- I want an animal that's affectionate too. Like, I need- I need affection. I'm an incel. Hi, Mag. Can we get some yo's? Hi. You're late. <laughs> Dear Peason, how is the country life going for you? It's been lonely here without you, but I'm proud of what you're doing. Love, Dad. Yes, found an envelope with some money Grandpa left for you. Plus $500. Oh, you just finished the drug? Is that like you're going to the gym, Mac? Because those boxes are pretty heavy. Do you have a like? Are you swole? Why would they let you have a rabbit, not a cat? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Because, like, the rabbit sheds a fuck ton of fur. But it's because in their minds, if the animal is contained in a kennel, then the fur doesn't travel. But it does. <laughs> Sorry, it's just like... Ugh. It is very hard to... I guess, argue when they aren't receptive to what you tell them. <laughs> I'm pretty strong. Yeah, strong legs too. Hey, girlies! so bad at arm wrestling. I said it yesterday, but like, 
I'm good at lifting things, like, with my whole body, but I can't channel all my energy into one part. Like, I, I'm so bad at arm wrestling. Even my sister could beat me, and she's weak as shit. What if in your picture, Mac, I just make you really skinny and scrawny? <laughs> because, like, people don't see the pictures when I make the sketch cards. I just make you so scrawny. <laughs> uh, I just cheat on wrestles? Yeah, you just kick them under the table. Pro strat. Or you can play footsies under the table. That also works. Distract them. <laughs> yeah, I made that just for Crystal. I think I want to re-hone my caricature skills again. Because right before a pandemic, I was practicing caricature, like, hardcore. Because I wanted to work for, like, a caricature studio. Because, like, at, like, farmer's markets and county fairs, they'd always have a caricature booth, and it'd always be the same company. And... How do you say it? It's like not a chain, but they have a few like offices across the country. And I think they had an office near the Seattle. So I was I applied and I got denied because I didn't have like because I asked the people who worked the booth. I was like, oh, so what does it require to like work here? And they're like, oh, you just gotta have basic art skills and they teach you everything. And I was like, okay, cool. So I I worked on some basic caricature work and. Submitted my portfolio, and then I got denied. <laughs> so, um... But then, I think I submitted my resume in, like, January of 2020. But then, even if I got hired, I would have gotten let go because they had to be on leave because of the restrictions during pandemic initially. But I think I want to relearn. So I think that could be something I could do. Imagine how fun that would be. You can see your favorite streamer, Peace in 17 at your local fair. What is this game? It looks like mini Minecraft. It is not Minecraft. It is not Minecraft. <laughs> the high quack. Can we get some yo's? Hello. This is Stardew Valley. Um, you build your farm. Romance the locals. Make millions. Bye, bed. 
saying sorry. <laughs> Why are you saying sorry? I'm trolling. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Screw this. The war is coming. These guys with- oh. Thank you for redeeming Quack, we'll do that at the end of stream for you. Stay back! Oh, I missed him. Not redeeming Rainbow? Maybe Quack is trying to save their points. We are doing that giveaway next week, so... What if I made the giveaway 50,000 points? <laughs> joking, not joking. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I mean, it's like a $200 value. Can I enter it? Um, yeah, I'm launching my painting website next week on Friday, so we're doing a special launch stream. And I will be giving away a free painting and a gift cards. Only Keelan and Mac can enter? Yeah, Kobobo, because you throw so many of your points away during predictions. Because you get cocky. And it's kind of funny, not gonna lie. Not realistically? Yeah, I can ship to you, okay? It only costs like 20 like 20 to 30 dollars shipping shipping, which is a lot, but you know. It's fine. I think restricting your um your commerce to just domestic for any creative, is not going to be beneficial. I don't get why companies don't ship international. It's not. It's not that much. It's not that more difficult. Usually, companies will make the consumer pay the shipping fees, so it's not like it's costing the company anymore. The only extra work you probably have to do is whenever you mail internationally, you do have to fill out like a customs form, just explaining what you're shipping, what the purpose is, just for like security reasons, right? So it's, it's not that bad. From what I've read. Like, I will be able to ship internationally. It'll just take longer. That's the only concern. Like, you can't get, like, overnight UK. That'd be, like, a hundred bucks. Minimum. Oh, this is the worst layout. Not gonna lie, the Tic Tac gum does not sound good, so I don't think you're missing out on much. I think the only, like, good American candy... I feel like foreign versions of most any, like, fast food or candies is gonna be better. Because just, like, food regulations are usually a bit stricter. <laughs> like, some foreign companies don't have, like, certain food dyes in their candies. I think the only good American candies you'll see are like the sour ones, because those are usually zooted. Like the sour candies here go crazy. You never get like American chocolate, it's never gonna be good.
Now, I personally am not a fan of sour candy, but I can appreciate the quality. And its ability to dehabilitate me. Yeah, I went grocery shopping on Monday, right? To see if there was any good Easter candy discount. There was, like, nothing good left. They only had, like... A few chocolate bunnies. But I was looking for, like, chocolate eggs, and they didn't have any. Oh, finally a ring! Wait, am I still inventory full? Oh, no way. Oh, okay, the magnet ring. This is what I need. Wait, what is this? Oh yeah, I can have two rings, thank god. How goes the farming? Pretty good. Focusing on mining. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get back home in time. I just realized it's 10. They need to allow, like, running in the game. I was considering buying Terraria to play for myself offline. Should I do it? Is Stardew Valley my favorite game? No. I did- I have so many hours in this game, though, because back when I was working, I had two jobs, so I would come home from work at, like, 10 or 11, and then I'd play this game until, like, 1 or 2 a.m. Because it was so, like, calming to end the day with. So it used to be my favorite game to play, at least. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh no. Dude, I'm so close. Holy shit. Cracked. Okay, four to eight damage. Okay, that sword is trash. I don't want it. Actually bad. I live! I'm trying to figure out what to get on my break. Out. Pizza, cause you're in New York, baby! <laughs> Gotta get yourself a slice! I've been craving pizza, though. And, like, in particular, Little Caesars. Because we were going to get some this weekend, but then we didn't. I really want crazy bread. I mean, honestly, pizza is probably one of the most profitable foods. Besides pasta. Any grain. Because grain is usually so cheap to ban bulk. But happens if you die in this game? You die in real life! <laughs> no, you just respawn at home and then you lose, like, all your items. It sucks. Also, you know what else sucks? Watching ads, because everybody, we are two hours on the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. If you're not sub watching a subway stream, drop a sub. It's free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime available. If you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Non subs.
Okay, four days left. I want to at least get to summer today. That's my goal. Ooh, we're at 4,500. <laughs> Non-subs peasants. That's what I call them too. Don't worry about it. They can't chat, so they can't retaliate anyway. <laughs> I mean, a lot of my chatters are people who've gotten a gifted sub, so I want to get- I wouldn't be getting too high on your little horse there, Quack. Shoutouts to the gifters, you are very kind and generous. Yeah, this is a sub-only stream. We occasionally do these sometimes. And Cold Bubble did unlock a sub-only stream today. Since uh, they gifted five subs yesterday, smile. Yeah, because like I honestly would have rested today, but I was like, you know what? Stardew Valley's chill. Yeah, honestly, my sub count is really high for a channel my size, so shadows. I want to sell my potatoes in person, get my Jojo Mart membership, and then see what happens. <laughs> Feeling evil. What is the most sum? What is the most sub someone had? I don't know who has the current record. Wasn't it? Wasn't it like Iron Mouse? I don't know. It's locked. How do you stream on Switch? Oh, you need a, a, a capture card. I use Elgato. Because you can either play off your TV or you can play off your streaming preview. Oh, Kai, yeah, you have 300,000. You're right. How do I forget about Kai? Right, it was Kai. What's a capture card? Um, it basically is able to, in live time, transmit whatever your gameplay, visuals, and audio to your computer. Because when you play on like your regular console, it's just transmitting it to your TV. But with your capture card, it transmits it to your computer. Bro, don't you stream? No, Quack was saying they want to. <laughs> get ready, get ready. <laughs> well, welcome to Jojo Mart. How are you doing today? Membership is now available. With a Jojo membership, you'll be able to make improvements in our community with the help of our dedicated personnel. For a fee, of course. Oh, and another thing. Mary Lewis promised us if we had an anyone else join up, he'd let us take over that old community center into a Jojo warehouse. Isn't that wonderful? Membership costs five thousand dollars. Would you like to join us? Besai two seven community center, everybody. I love big corpa. I'm gonna join. I didn't think there'd be a. Are you sure? If you become a Jojo member, the community center will become a Jojo warehouse and you will no longer be able to refurbish it. However, Jojo will provide an alternative means to improving the town. Are you sure you want to join? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Welcome to Georgia Corporation. Come back tomorrow we can see about getting started on some community development projects. Oh, and don't forget, your wallet. <laughs> now, let me call Mayor Lewis and see about getting that nasty old community center. Okay, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. But actually tomorrow, because I'm going to end stream. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Dude, imagine. Imagine that cliffhanger.
You guys would be riding in the streets. And the chat. Oh, well, they sell everything here. Wait, okay, the potato seeds are the same price. Oh, they don't sell trees, though. Uh-oh. Fresh and cheap! Okay, well, I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm gonna fish the rest of the day, get some money, get my money back. Yeah, plug in your iPad. Are you watching the stream on your iPad? <laughs> Dude, iPad kids. It is. Oh no. You are watching on your iPad? Okay, Twitch Mobile on the iPad isn't that bad. Because you can have low latency mode, meaning you can watch the stream in almost real time. Samsung products don't offer that yet. Yeah, because like... For my phone charger, I've had it for... Five years? And it's the one that came with the actual phone. And I refuse to buy a third-party charger because it's never going to charge as fast as a real one, you know what I mean? I love my iPad. It brings me joy. Actual iPad kid. Actual iPad kid. I've never liked like Kindles or iPads because it's just too big. Even my okay, guys. Funny joke, I have two phones. Even, like, this one is so much bigger. It's almost like too big for my hand. I don't like holding it sometimes. So I don't, I don't like iPads either. <laughs> I have a little iPad for school and joy. <laughs> This town is gonna completely change tomorrow. But is the Georgia Corp actually that bad? It's gonna bring so much more commerce to the town. Because it doesn't seem like anybody was working on the community center anyway. Like, where are all the taxes going? Like, why aren't they going into the community center? Like, come on. I have an iPad. I got it through school because my university had a program to where you could buy a laptop, iPad, camera, and then art supplies through the school and it's at a reduced price, but it's included in your tuition. So I have an iPad. The only thing that I would use it for was to read manga. <laughs> the purpose was to, like, draw, <laughs> but I never used it to draw. Because <laughs> I, I like physical over digital. So I would just read manga, I'd read webtoons on my iPad. But I don't do that as much anymore. Because in order to read manga on your tablet, you know, you gotta of websites which i didn't do but now i buy any comics that i read so therefore i don't read manga anymore <laughs> yeah i'm at 690 wait 69 <laughs> funny number yeah we're close to 700 69 zero <laughs> Nobody better unfollow. If you unfollow, you can't type for 10 minutes.
My goal this year is to reach a thousand followers organically. Guess what? What? Do I lose the sub if you unfollow? Yeah. Yeah. What's my favorite Lay's flavor? I like the ridges, because I like the texture. I'm not a big flavor guy. If I'm going to get a chip, I either want a plain Lay's or a Cheeto. Because Cheetos are zooted with flavor. Other chips aren't flavorful enough, and I don't like spice, so that's why I don't like Takis. No, I was lying. <laughs> I was going to unfollow... Yeah, yeah, it will reset your follower age. That's the main problem. Because people will unfollow for a joke, but then you lose your age. And then you lose any credibility you have in the chat. If you unfollow... Okay, I was actually lying. You don't lose the sub. You keep the sub. But you, you lose your follow age, and then you can't type in chat for 10 minutes. Um, Kim, type exclamation follow age in chat. Oh, you probably gotta wait a minute because two people did it. <laughs> I'm just dumb. No, it's the timing. Because it, you gotta wait, like... A few seconds before everybody does commands. You're not dumb. God hates me. <laughs> no, the chat hates you. The chat bot, no. No, the chat. Oh, damn it. I messed up the words. Never mind, I'm skipping that song. Why can't I gamble? I hate gambling. Me and the homies hate gambling. I think those chat or the commands like gamble all roulette, it's meant for like offline chat. It's not meant for live chat because like, honestly, seeing those type of commands in a chat during live, it's kind of like it's not relevant to like, what you call it, to the commentary. I'm gonna say bye bye bye, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I want things twice. But that wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because those type of commands are like standard. You'll see them in most in a chat room, but they don't have much utility besides a command you just use when you're bored. Got 24 seconds and it started right now. Shot clock. Yeah, I know I got the words wrong, but I tried. I just realized it keep on messing up the fishing rod because I don't have the audio. Like I'm, I can hear the game through my TV audio, so I can barely hear it. I just realized. I don't have an output to my headphones today. <laughs> Oopsie. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen to the community center. I've never seen it. I've been tempted to like look up the cutscenes, but I always told myself that I will actually do a Jojo Mart at some point, which I am doing now. So I have literally no idea what's gonna happen. I want the whole time to just be wiped. All of it gone. Mm -hmm. 
I think the problem with a lot of American companies, or just the American structure in general, is that since your health insurance is tied to your workplace, if you lose your job, you lose your house insurance, most likely housing. So I think it's even worse that companies are proposing the idea of, like, assisted living through their job. So, like, workplaces that offer, like, discounts for certain apartments or offer you on-site living. Because if you lose your job, then you literally lose your housing. That's why those type of towns or the companies that build warehouses in small towns and offer housing, that's a problem. So I'm laughing at the resolution to the dream, not the actual nightmare. Don't worry. <laughs> See, I have dreams that, like, my family and my friends die. But then I wake up and they're like, thank god they're still here. I always have dreams about, like, Mount Rainier exploding. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought that was an actual person! Oh my god. Holy! <laughs> oh my god. Automod- What'd you say, Mac? You have five horses? Wow. What'd you say, Mac? <laughs> Mac. That's hilarious that that got all muddled. <laughs> yeah, you can't say die in the chat. Oh my god. Okay, let's see what happened to the community center. Uh oh, it's storming. Dear Beeson, tomorrow we're all getting together for the flower dance. If you can find a party, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. There's a clear, there's a little clearing behind the forest west of town where we will hold the dance. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you're interested. I'm not. I don't have no GF. Zath, my sister. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I want to see the community center. Say to Snicker. <laughs> I do, <deal> Mio. <laughs> you know, I love auto mod. I never have any problems. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Man, they haven't even like renovated the inside, it's just filled with shit. What is this? Oh, it's a bulletin board. Oh yeah, because warehouses are usually used for storage, right? cop anything from here? Nope. Damn, there's like nobody guarding. I could have totally stolen everything. The building does look pretty cool and modern though. Not gonna lie.
I didn't know you had a horse, Mac. I think you're lying. You literally never talked about that, Mac. Okay, let's see what he has to say now. See, Mac was lying. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Mac is a menace. See, I saw through Mac's facade right away. Look, Mac lives in New York. How can they fit a horse? Does she take it on the subway? I've got the Georgia Community Development Forum right here for you, miss. Care to take a look? Oh! I can literally get everything. Okay. Bus is 40k. Bridge is 25k. Canning is 20k. Greenhouse is 35k. Mine cards is 15k. Okay. Okay, Quack, let's not make jokes like that. Don't even joke about T-H-R-E-A-T's, okay? Don't joke about it. Don't joke about it. Don't joke about it. You do it again, time out. No, it, it, you will- Twitch staff will clap you for that. So... Don't do it. Okay. Well, it's interesting that for the Jojo Maru, you just have to buy everything. It does make it less stressful, not gonna lie, because that just means I have to farm money. <laughs> this stand from a D's nuts joke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's just some shit you can't joke about on Twitch, and it makes sense. Just gotta be mindful of TOS. Oh, the bridge is there. Is that all the Jojamart route is? Just like pay to win, literally? I don't mind it. It, it definitely like adds less stress, cause like. The thing I didn't like about the community center is, like, I felt like I had to plan out every single season. And it made me feel like if I messed up, then I, um, then it ruined my run, quote-unquote. The can you swim joke? Is this another D? Yeah, I'm trying to think about what the setup means. I'm trying to think of puns with swim. No joke, I'm just nosy. My immediate thought was like, you know, the um, spoilers in a mori. That one scene with, like, when they're at the lake with, um, Aubrey and Basil. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because ducks swim and they quag? Oh, that's good.
So since this route seems like it's focused on making money, I think I can actually focus on making my farm look pretty. Because in previous playthroughs, since I was the main goal was the community center, I had to focus on... Um, I guess efficiency in terms of the farm. But now I can like take time and make it look nice. So I think I'll do that this time. Oh, I just remembered I have bait at home, and I keep on forgetting to put it on my fishing rod. Mm -hmm. Can you swim in the game? No, but I think people have made mods. It'd be cool if you could swim, but I think it'd be similar to like the Animal Crossing mechanics so where you could just dive in the water and get fish. And I think that's kind of silly. It's kind of boring, not gonna lie. I think the diving mechanic in Animal Crossing had potential, but I don't like how it was, like, just surface level POV. I think it would have been interesting if it changed POV to show, like, a side POV of you in the water. Like a snorkel is POV, kind of. Goopy yeah, vision. <laughs> oh, rare. Everybody, be quiet. Easy. Oh, an eel. Perfect though. Another one. Oh my god. There we go. Finally, some bait. No, the spawn point is gone. Easy. I think I really liked Cold of the Lamb a lot. And I, I liked it so much I started an offline save, right? But still, the stupidest mechanic in the game was the fishing. Because it's the opposite mechanic as Stardew Valley fishing, so this, I only press when I want to move the bar. But for Cold of the Lamb fishing, if you want to move the bar, you have to not move. And it's so dumb! Have you ever seen the Mar movie? I have. 
But we're not going to talk about it. Because we did a full review yesterday. And I don't want people to get spoiled. Well, I read it a uh, 10 out of 10. Now, I would say like an 8. What's cold to the lamb? Um, I think... It was one stream cube where you watched and it was sub only, and you were like, I'm just listening to the stream. I have no idea what this game is. It's kind of like Binding of Isaac, but you build the base. It's really fun. Yeah, I know. I'm biased too. I can love Nintendo. Yeah, it was the one way to build a base, gain followers, and sacrifice people. In game. When does stream end? Now! I actually might end after this day ends because I'm very tired. I wanted to bring it, finish spring, but I don't think I can. Uh, in like 15 minutes, probably. I think today I'll I'll rest for a little bit and then do homework. That way I can do a longer stream tomorrow. And then maybe paint today after I do homework. Ooh, a flounder! What will I do tomorrow? I'll probably start um, the new story game tomorrow. Or I'll do a one-off game. It's hard because, like, if I physically could, I would stream four to six days a week. I would. But since it requires so much, I guess, mental energy to, like, be on camera in terms of, like, being on and like being Abby it's like very like mentally exhausting and then in turn like right now everything feels really heavy and it's very like distracting like it's hard for me to sit and not think about the the pain I'm in and it's not, like, severe pain. And I remember when I went to the doctor, he was like, how would you write your level of pain? I was like, it's fine. Like, it's tolerable. It's more annoying than anything. Like, it's not like I'm crippled over dying. It's just mildly uncomfortable. And it's very, like, disheartening thinking that... The, literally the only thing that'll make me feel better because there's no like experimental treatment. There's no medicine for the condition I have. It's literally a 40,000 brain surgery and then it might work. And so it's still very hard to accept the reality that this is going to be my normal forever. Um What do I do? have to do to 1v1 you? Um, a million subs. <laughs> I, I don't play with viewers 1v1. I don't think that'd be good content anyway. It'd only be good content if it was if with another streamer, because then they could actually commentate. But, what was I saying? Like, I think the most favorite, or the most frustrating thing is like, I can, like, mentally prepare myself for a day. Like, I was ready for today. Because I was going to be like, you know, I'm going to start the star game. We're going to do Start of Valley in the evening. But then, like, the roommates wanted, like, a hot meal today. 
They have meal prep, but they want a hot meal. And then... And then I think I walk too much because in order to get from the bus stop to home and then the bus stop to get to the post office is like, I walked a total of like three miles yesterday, which was too much. <laughs> too much. So like, I like mentally prepared myself for today, but then I woke up and I was like, oh no, I can't. My coworker had brain surgery, you can feel the plate. I mean, if I had brain surgery, I'd, I'd want to like show it off too. Because I think it's cool. Like, I'm not necessarily as scared of getting the procedure done, because, like, the mortality rate is very low. So it's not like I would die on the surgery table, most likely. Very slim a chance. It's more so, like... Um... Like, how am I gonna pay for 50,000 when it's considered an optional surgery? It's not, like, life-saving. And it's kind of like, if insurances won't even cover cancer patients who need chemo to fucking live, how are they gonna cover a 50,000 surgery? Because that includes, like, the procedure, aftercare, staying in the hospital for a week. In the UK? Fuck the UK! I'll say it! Ooh, fish work 25% more. I'll do that. Easy. I love money. So, like, it's very... It's a very daunting thing to think about. And my friend was like, well, once you graduate... Oh, I gotta save. They were like, once you graduate, you can get, like, a cushy office job, make a lot of money. Oh, it's it auto-saves. I forgot. But then it's like... 50k is still a lot. <laughs> it's still a lot. So it's like... Eh. I don't know. It's it's a lot. But I'll, I'll be fine. You know. It's only been a few months. I have my whole life to accept it, so... My own. Fuck the Americans? Yeah, I don't like... The structure of the American government, for the most part, it's not... It's not smart. Yeah, we'll do calligraphy, don't worry about it, Quack. I would never forget. Okay, Chaz. Let's get some music on for y'all. Mm. I'm getting the audio set up. Change of painting? Ain't no way! I have a request. Okay. But let me just say. I don't take songs. You cannot make requests. I sing what I want to sing. If you have something you want to say, just say it. Do not give a hook. Be, don't be like, oh, I have a question. Or, I want to share this. Just say it. Just say it. I hate when people bait. In real life, too, not just in chat. It annoys the fuck out of me. <laughs> he has a visible scar on the side of his head, and you can feel the plate. That's cool. Yeah, I would. I would have to get it like back here. I would. I would have to get an undercut. Wait, I gotta change the painting. Okay, so this painting is gold. Faux barcode. It features a purple to green mica powder color shift, as you can see in the light. It's really bright, but you can see the color shift. It also has gold metallic paint, original painting. Well, this is Mac's favorite. So I will be launching my art website next week. I will be doing a launch stream on Friday the 21st. Oops, wrong command. <laughs> so go follow my offline socials. This one, I have a separate Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter for my art. So go follow, please. It's free to follow. It really does help. 
<laughs> I don't know if he's happy that he had brain surgery. Yeah, brain surgery is really scary. Also, the procedure that I would have to get is a very controversial procedure. So. You want me to call you Travis, Quack? We can fix that. We can call you Travis. Okay, I'm changing the title. No, do, yeah, you don't gotta leak your name if you don't want to, but do you want us to call you Travis? Because I have to make a note of that. Leak! <laughs> I have two phones, everybody. Okay, yeah, let's see. Oh, you don't mind? Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep calling you Quack, then. That way chatters will know who we're talking to. Okay, so if you want me to write your name, all I gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Big one. That's so cool. Thank you. Glad you like it. We do this every stream, but only at the end. Thank you for redeeming Quack again. Okay, hey, this is the final name, so if you want my original name, all you gotta do is use your channel points. Any other redeemers? Thank you for redeeming, Claire. <laughs> You're welcome in. Can we get some yo's? <laughs> I 
Thank you, Quack. I do agree that the rainbow names do go crazy. Like, especially the longer ones, you can see, like, the full gradient. Okay, final name, everybody. Final name. There we go. Okay, final call. If you want me to write your name, I gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Final call. I love the tombos. You can see the stroke difference between the Kali art and the tombos. You have a lot sharper line change right here. Seeing the C compared to the E. It's a lot thicker here. But that's because the tombos have a Smaller point. Okay, y'all got five, four, three, two, one. We're done. Okay. I would like to thank everybody for watching for this subscriber only stream. I know. I was gonna do a full day, but I'm too tired. Not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna rest up today. Hopefully, I can start the new game tomorrow. Which is no leaks, no leaks. No leaks. But a space for the unbound. It is a pixel story game. Coming of age story. So if you guys want more heart-wrenching, make sure to tune in tomorrow. Um, I should be live tomorrow. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna work on homework today, rest. Maybe paint, because I have to get everything done by Sunday. A lot. Okay, thank you all for hanging out. Once again, thank you for Kobobo for unlocking today's bonus stream. I appreciate you for the five gifted yesterday. Thank you, Kobobo. Um, yeah, gentle reminder. Since the art website is launching next week, please... Go follow the Twitch channel, peace and underscore art, and all of the social media. I have separate accounts on Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. So please go follow them. It's free to follow. Uh, content coming soon. Uh, like I said, my plan is like, I don't anticipate to sell right away. And that's fine. Um, I'd rather focus on building the brand identity for the first like six months. And hopefully sell more in a year. I'd rather just have the IP best. Er, thank you, Quack. I appreciate that. Apart from you, mods. <laughs> uh, I'd rather just have the website made and ready. But yeah. I'll see y'all tomorrow, probably. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Dude, I'm so tired. be okay though. 
I've been up since like 4 a.m. I have no idea why I'm getting up too early now. I used to like wake up at my alarm at like 7.30, but now I wake up at 4 or 5 and I have no idea why. It's nearly 10 for you. Oh yeah, you're okay. I forgot. Well, thank you for tuning in today, Quack. Another nice Korean soft pop song is... Oh, it's by the same singer. Hyn. H-Y-N-N. -N. That's why I like the vocals so much, because I... <laughs> it's... Bad Love. Her voice is so pretty. Because, like, she has almost one of those, like, soul vo voices. It's so pretty. I like a lot of her songs because like I usually just listen to American Men but I'm looking at her top singles and a lot of them I really like and I didn't know they were her. <laughs> okay, I should be live tomorrow. Otherwise, everybody go follow my main Twitter, because I usually post updates and then go like tweets. That way you'll get updates about bonus streams like today. And also if I go live at a different time, so go follow my Twitter. It's peace in 17 no underscore on Twitter. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.